What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to the Hero Challenge. In this series, we basically play and finish off our hero gear for each one of the specialists in the game. And we've covered all of the hero heads now, which is all the abilities. Now we're moving on to the power weapons, which do take a little bit longer. The power weapons require six kills in a single game. You have to do that six different times. Uh, so that's kind of confusing to some, so you have to get six kills in one game, and that'll count as one out of six of these challenges. And so you have to do that six times over, and, and then you'll eventually get the hero body. Uh, now there was, I just want to clear up, at the beginning of this series, I did say that for power weapons, uh, round-based game modes didn't work. It basically counted one round as one game. That was patched a couple weeks back, so I just wanted to, to clear that up as we get into the power weapons here. You can play round-based game modes, and one game actually counts as one game now, which is the way it should be, and, and that's good. So today, we are going to start off with the Tempest, and the simple reason for that is it's the one that I'm closest to, and it's the one that I feel is going to be a little bit easier. A lot of these other ones, like the Sparrow, for instance, if you've been watching my live streams, I've been working towards them, and they are difficult. They take a lot of time to get done. Uh, so there's a few of them that are going to be a little bit more difficult and therefore they're probably going to happen a little bit later on. I know a ton of people were requesting the Sparrow or the Gravity Spikes, but they take a little bit more time. I'm still working on uh, the best strategies for doing that. So today we're just going to be covering the Tempest. Let's get into a game and we'll see how we do. All right, guys, here we go. We ended up getting Hunted Domination. Uh, what do I want to use? Let's just use this KN44 class here. Just because that'll be what I feel most comfortable with. I decided to also play Ground War. Now, Ground War can be a great uh, game mode, I find, for the power weapons. Because you're just trying to get lots of kills. And it's typically best if you have, like, a bunch of enemies to shoot at. And they're, like, all grouped together and stuff, especially. That's usually the best the best way to get a ton of kills, is have them all grouped up. Which means, playing, like, Free For All or Team Deathmatch, those usually aren't the ideal modes. Now, Team Deathmatch, of course, that can work. Uh, I'm not saying it's it's impossible in Team Deathmatch. It's just not quite as good as a lot of the objective game modes that kind of force people into into really small areas, like onto objective points, or like you can push them back into their spawn and it's a little bit stickier in the spawn so they don't flip out as easy. Uh, so I find that's why objective game modes are best. So Domination, Safeguard, those ones are going to be ideal. Uh, hard point maybe even for some, although with hard point you have the really high charge times, which kind of sucks. Um, but, yeah, you just gotta choose your game modes wisely when you're going for six kills in a single game with with these uh, uh, power weapons. I was gonna say abilities. These are not the abilities, these are the power weapons. Oh crap, here we go. I gotta lay down here. Just because I'm in a bad spot and there's a guy with a dredge in here. Okay, more guys coming up the stairs. From up the stairs. I would like to rotate back and get the C flag captured, but we have, like, no control over the B flag area right now, so... I'm not gonna fall into that trap and, and leave B flag hanging. Okay, there we go. Got our B-flag guys. Alright, we've almost got our Tempest. Now, what I really wanted to hammer home with this video, and it will be the this, the next few episodes of this, actually. Anytime you're using the precision sort of specialist, so I would consider like the Tempest, the Sparrow, uh, what else? Maybe even the War Machine a little bit. It's, it's not as precise or anything. But the specialist where you have to actually aim and shoot your enemies. The best time to call them in is when you have map control and you've got your enemies kind of pinned into their spawn or just pinned back into a big area and they're all clustered together like right now they're kind of all clustered at at the c spawn area i think we're probably gonna end up flipping them back to a but i'm not too sure i would prefer if they were at the a spawns because they'll be grouped together a little bit better i find and uh the nice thing about the tempest is you can catch an arc on them so you kill them once and then it arcs now they we just got a wraith up on our team which Makes me want to kind of hold off a little bit, just because uh, it'll steal potential kills from me. Uh, now there's a guy in here, he just got killed. Uh, I'm just gonna wait for a spawn flip here. Yeah, most of what what's going on with the power weapons, uh, how to maximize your kills with it, is to call it in at the right time. It's all about timing. It's, it's not so much about what you do when you actually have the power weapon up and ready to go. It's more about the preparation and doing it at the right time. There we go. We just flipped their spawn to A, which is great. I'm probably going to die here, which is fine. Uh, I just want to get them kind of pushed back into their A flag. I hope they cap that A flag. And then they will be... They've got those set spawns now at A. We are kind of losing B, but that's okay. And now's a good time to call this in. Remember... Oh, crap. Remember, this does arc. So you want to try to get enemies that are grouped up together. Ideally. And... Uh, like this one here, it might arc to an enemy if it comes, if another enemy comes. Nope, didn't come in time. So there we go. We got, what was that? 
three, four. Oh, and it just arced to one, one of the enemies there. So that was a pretty good one. You don't expect to get all six with a single specialist, although it does happen sometimes. Uh, you don't expect to get that. If you can get three or four with a single use of your your uh, power weapon, you're you're on you're on track. So now I only have to get I think two more. I think I got four. Maybe I got five with that. I'm terrible at counting for power weapons, but uh, you can see I I waited for the right moment to strike and it paid off. If I would have just used it kind of randomly a little bit early, then. I might have maybe gotten like one kill and then the spawns flip or something like that. You want to make sure they've got their set spawns, they're not about to flip their spawns. A lot of it does come down to spawn knowledge. And it also helps if you have UAVs and VSATs up. So, I, I should have put VSAT on as a streak, but I wasn't really thinking about score streaks at all before this. Uh, it is nice if you are confident enough to earn VSATs that if. If not, UAVs will have to do. And just try to really pay attention to your minimap. Like right now, if I had a Tempest, again, perfect time to call it in. They're all pinned back in the A spawn. They're all going to be clustered together, and they have to come to us. That's a key thing with this as well, is you want your enemies coming to you. Because the Tempest and stuff, it, it's not usually the greatest to be rushing your enemy with a Tempest, because it does have that little bit of a charge time. So if your enemy is sitting behind a piece of cover like this, and you come around the corner and try and challenge him with a Tempest, he might end up killing you. Assuming he has decent enough aim, he's going to end up killing you. So you want the enemies coming to you, so therefore, when you've got them pinned back in their spawn... Make it so they have to rush you, and then that's when you're calling it in. And also just be aware that it does have a bit of a call-in time. I, I know some people, they get in, and it's like the right moment, but they're just a little bit in too deep, and they call their uh, their power weapon in a little bit too er, or too late, and they get killed just as they call it in. So, wow, I've got an, a teammate going 40 and 5. Nice. That Wraith really went off for him. Um, yeah, so there we go. That's our first Tempest, but... Uh, We'll definitely have at least one more go at a Tempest. I find usually in games of Domination, if you're doing decently well, you'll get about three opportunities, sometimes four if you're really going off, but usually about three opportunities to call in uh, most of your power weapons. Some of them you get less, like the Scythe, for instance. You'll usually only get two, maybe three shots at a Scythe, uh, whereas as things like the Sparrow, I found I was getting about four shots with it. Tempest, you usually get about three three tries at it, depending on how well you're doing. Also, that is with Overclock, by the way. I should have mentioned. That is with Overclock. I did luck out and get really solid en or teammates here. Rocking VSATs and everything. So Or haters. Still call them VSATs. Whatever. I'm not even going to call my Hellstorm in. Just because there's people to kill with my gun here. And I want to kill them with my gun. Oh, God. Is that our war machine or their war machine? I don't know. It's okay. We're good. All right. Now we got to wraps up. Now, I'm not too worried. I'm not as worried about the wraps stealing my kill as I was with the Wraith. Um... I'm going to anticipate a spawn flip here. Yeah, because we just touched the sea flag. So I'm going to wait for this spawn to flip again. I, this is partially just map knowledge. I know I'm very confident that like when they group up towards the A spawns, I'm very confident in those situations compared to when they're grouped up at the sea flags. So just going to wait for this spawn flip to happen. It should happen pretty soon. There we go. We're starting to get a bit of a flip, but they got kind of an interesting flip here. Again, not the greatest time to call it in. Just a little bit of patience with calling it in. You don't have to call them in right away. At the same time, you don't want to hold on to them all game because the more you hang on to it, the the more you're you're ruining your shot of uh, of calling in, calling uh, several of them in. Ooh, wow, I didn't think you'd have a line of sight on me for that long. All right, so now is going to be a great time to call it in as I get up here and get a little bit of map control. Just going to call it in, jump up here, get a vantage point, and of course my teammate stole that kill. I think, and there we go. We got a couple arcs there. And let's just see how many we can get here, but we definitely got our six done. Uh, push into their spawn a little bit. We just flipped their spawn, so that's one of those situations you also, you don't want to call it in as your teammates are putting too much pressure on a spawn, like I just, well, I did there. I'd still call it in at a good time, but you'll notice the spawn flipped, and now I have to turn around and go all the way to the other side of the map to find them, and you don't want to do that too often, so right here we should get at least three people with this Hellstorm, I think. Oh, nope, they all died. My teammates are just too good. Teammates are too good. But I think that's really all you guys needed to see. I like to keep these videos relatively concise, and we've covered what we wanted to cover for the video, so I'll skip ahead until after the game, and we'll have a look to see what the hero armor looks like. So there we go. We got the game completed here. Got our hero gear. I don't know how, how many Tempest kills I ended up with by the end of the game, but I think it was somewhere like around 10 or so, or 9. I don't know. Uh, let's have a look, see what this thing looks like. Beautiful. We'll also put the hero head on, so he's all gold. There we go. We've got full hero armor for profit. And uh, that pretty much is going to wrap this up. Just remember, the key with a lot of these power weapons 
is get your enemies under control in a small area of the map. Don't let them be spread all over the map. If they're spread out everywhere, that is not a good time to call in most of your power weapons. It does work for some of them, but most of the time you want them grouped up, coming out of their spawn, and you want them all close together. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will talk to you guys next time.